Welcome to D-Lab everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the power transformer in a Dynaco Mark IV. The original transformer is a PA-135, which is pretty much unobtainium. You can change that transformer with a Hammond 273BX with a slight modification to the bias circuit, which we will borrow from Fender. And it works primo. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, the first step of the update is to mount the new Hammond 273BX power transformer in the place of the old original. Good thing is, this transformer is identical size-wise to this transformer, so the bolt hole pattern lines right up. The only difference is you have wires exiting both bellons, whereas on the Dynaco, it's all coming out of one. So I'm going to have to drill a hole here and put in a grommet to protect the wires. Other than that, there's no chassis modifications necessary. First step, I need to unwire the old original transformer. I'm going to document how it was routed. The difference, though, between the new Hammond and the original is we're not going to have the set of bias windings. This is around a negative 55 volt system. They had a dedicated winding for that. On the Hammond, we're going to tap off the high voltage system with a step down resistor for the bias, just like Fender does on their amplifiers. Okay, to absolutely verify that this power transformer is shorted, I have all the leads on the secondary side disconnected. We are only feeding the primary. If I bring up my Bariac, I'm still seeing the short. So unfortunately, this transformer is shot. All right, there's our modification half inch hole and a rubber grommet. I'm ready to mount the new transformer. So I decided to mount the choke using its own hardware rather than sharing the mounting hardware of the power transformer. There is the Hammond transformer mounted in the place of the original. There's a gap underneath to clear the choke screws so you don't have to worry about that interfering with mounting of the transformer. Next step, let's get her wired up. All right, we're all wired up. Next step, I need to add the new bias tap. So I'm going to take a resistor off one leg of our high voltage winding, swing that over to the bias network, and measure and make sure it's right for these tubes. All right, the new bias system is installed, and I will show a document of how you reconfigure it for application with a Hammond 273BX. Got the bias set at about a volt, just monitoring it for stability. But everything looks great. All right, here is a Mark IV with a stock power transformer. And over here, I have a Mark IV with a Hammond 273BX installed. They both work identical. The 273BX actually exceeds the original current capability of the Dynaco PA-135. It is a great substitution. Okay, we're back. We're going to be testing that Dynaco Mark IV. I've got both of them hooked up now, and I'm using some non-copyright music. But at least you get to hear the amps performing. Here we go. Substitution to get your Mark IVs back up and running. 
from D-Lab Electronics.